in it. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everybody. This is Brian Ankeny with Auto Success Magazine. I'd like to thank you all for taking time out of your busy day to join us today uh, for another uh, Auto Success webinar. Today our topic is, but who's going to do it? Uh, everybody on this call probably knows video is important. I don't know that that's a case that needs to be made. But the case, that, the case that, or the question at hand today is, is who's going to do it? Uh, I'm sure as you look around the dealership that you're sitting in right now, you don't see anybody who's not busy uh, or anybody that, has, that needs a new project. Um, so we're going to talk about, you know, who's going to do it? We're going to give the pros and cons of doing it in-house versus hiring a service. We're going we're to discuss all things on that topic. Now, please feel free to ask us any questions that you have. And the way the questions work, we're going to hold them to the end, but please type them in as you think of them so we've got a lot of good questions to get started with right at the end of the webinar. Now, if you're on a laptop, a PC, or a tablet, on the right side of your screen, there's a go to webinar window that's open, and near the bottom it says questions. Click on the plus sign right next to questions, and it's going to give you a little box, type in a question. Um, now, if you are on a, a smartphone, it, it changes up a little bit device to device. If you're on an Apple or an Android, it's different, and then within Android, the different manufacturers, it's actually different. So you're either going to see a picture frame around your screen, or you're going to see a header or a footer, or, or, or some combination thereof. And in, those, in that little pane, you'll see a question mark. You click on the question mark, and then it'll open up and allow you to type in a question, and, you'll, and then you'll submit your question. Now, depending on your device, you might be able to swipe to have it go away. You might have to actually click on another icon that kind of looks like a desktop monitor, and that will bring you back to the webinar. You know, worst case scenario, if you hit the wrong button and you end up leaving the webinar, you can use the same link that you used to join the first time and join again. Now, um, one more thing before we get started is if you have not joined Auto Success webinars on Facebook, I, I would... I would greatly appreciate it if you would. It's, it's the best place to find out about future webinars. You'll never miss one. Um, you could also interact with my speakers and myself and the Auto Success team. You know, let us know if there's a topic that you'd like to see covered. Let me know. If there's a speaker you think would be great for a webinar, please let me know. Um, and then most importantly, the best function of Auto Success webinars and the group on Facebook is that as you, you know, you're going to watch this webinar, you're going to take some notes, you're going to have you know, maybe two steps, maybe ten steps, depending on where you are right now with video, that you want to implement to you know, grow your business and, and make your dealership more effective at using video. And as you implement those changes, you're going to have successes and failures. I invite you to share those with each other via the group Auto Success Webinars on Facebook. And that way, you, know, you can learn best practices. You can maybe help somebody avoid a pitfall or avoid a pitfall yourself. Um, with all that being said, I would like to turn it over to my guest today, Ted Dupuy from Flick Fusion Video. Ted, please take us away. Hey, thanks, Brian. I appreciate it, and uh, thank you for everyone that uh, has joined us today. Again, my name is Ted Dupuy, and I'm the uh, I head up national accounts for Flick Fusion Video Marketing. And today we're going to talk about implementing video. Um, you know, the question of do-it-yourself, DIY, or lot service, and uh, who's going to do that? So let me kick it off with uh, Google published a study back in November of 2015, and I'm confident you have heard it being referred to. Um, I use it over and over again, and it's, it's powerful. It stated that over 69% of automotive shoppers were relying on video to influence their person's purchasing decisions. Now, that's huge. First and foremost, that was almost a year and a half ago. Now. I think that number would be considerably higher right now. Just from that fact alone, I feel it is obvious that dealers utilize video in their marketing mix. For the dealerships that have already adopted video into the marketing mix, they are seeing a significant and the immediate impact it yields. So not only the increased leads and walk-ins, but to increased sales from more emotionally engaged customers. And that's what I want to address to the, today's webinar, the fact that you have decided to implement video. But in doing so, it can be quite challenging from a logistics standpoint with the big question, yeah, we have video, but who's going to do it? As each of your dealership is unique in how you operate, let's address as to when it is the best to have the process in-house, a do-it-yourself approach, and when it is the best to use a professional source, like a lot service or a professional service based on the following factors or implementing a combination of those. We'll take a look at motivation, 
a buy-in from the dealership personnel. We'll take a look at a dealership size from small one-owner dealerships to multi-department layered stores. Uh, we'll take a look at the volume of sales from a 20 cars a month store to a 300 cars a month store. We'll take into consideration your current processes, the cost or investment involved to accomplish the best results. And finally, we'll take a look at the processes, what, what is going to deliver the, the best quality for your dealership. You know, just this past Saturday morning, I took a call from Chad over in Nebraska at Velocity Auto Sales. He wanted to talk video on his way into work. Chatter operates a small used car lot that is competing with another local independent in the area, along with a couple of the franchise stores with far more personnel. As it, um, it's just Chad at his store, and those dealers are operating with a much bigger inventory, and along with that comes a much bigger marketing budget. Now, Chad is a firm believer in not only having video, but using video. Chad called and wanted my input with regard to a couple of ways that he could differentiate himself using video. Chad also wanted to know how he could streamline the process or actually create the processes that still allow him to get everything done that he needs to do for his dealership. Even though most of you, I am sure, come from a bigger store than Chad, I want to use Chad as an example, a real dealership with the same pains that dealerships all have regardless of size. So let's address the motivation. If it's not you, who? And if it's not now, when? First and foremost, you have to have the desire to implement video. There are still thousands of dealerships out there that just think that video is a fad. That video may be something that is a passing trend. And I'm here to tell you, it's not a passing trend. And if you Google video marketing, you will find over 58 million results chock full of stats on the power of video marketing. Video has been on the rise for over 40 years. Some of you may be old enough to remember the song, Video Killed the Radio Star. That song was written almost 40 years ago in a response to the, to the uh, advent of music videos and other technologies arising in the music industry. Now, video didn't kill the radio star, but video more specifically, mu music videos, as the song refers to, sure did change the music industry landscape and how we engage with music. Here's some fun stuff. I imagine that for some of you, I can mention Michael Jackson's song, Thriller, and you couldn't recite the lyrics, but you could remember the zombie dance. Another would be Walk Like an Egyptian. Again, I bet you couldn't recite the lyrics, but you could stand up and show how one does walk like an Egyptian. This is because of the indelible impact video has with us as humans. So, video is not a trend, but I've had many dealers tell me that it is. You know what else have told me? Now, this was a long time ago, like nine years ago, that the internet was a trend or a fad that their customers wouldn't use to shop for cars. But that has changed. Motivation or desire can start anywhere within your dealership. A lot of times it arises from the sales department, specifically the internet department. A lot of salespeople are looking for an edge, something that will differentiate them from the rest. You have so many salespeople recording videos for their customers and posting them to various places to engage the shopper. Now, dealer management would be foolish to not embrace that type of initiative and motivation. But I've heard from dealer management with an employee like that who is just blowing it up with sales using video on their own, and the management's thought process is this. It's not costing them a dime, and they're moving metal. What they aren't what they are missing is, is how much it is costing them not to harness that energy and turn that into a process for their whole team, selling that many more cars. Now, let's get back to Chad, our owner. He's not the own, not only the owner, he's the internet department as well. And in his words, I need to use video to engage my shoppers. I see it as something that will differentiate me from my competitors. Obviously, in bigger dealerships, there are more many layers to the change of processes. But it only takes one, and that one person could be you. The person that is motivated to get yourself and your dealership more walk-ins, more phone calls, and more leads, and ultimately more sales. This could mean that you are the person shooting the video or simply the person getting the ball rolling. Again, if it's not you, then who? If it's not now, when? So let's dive into the in-house process versus professional services. 
each one of your dealerships is a different point on the curve when it comes to your processes and what you are accomplishing and what you aren't accomplishing. There is no concrete answer or rules to follow as each solution is unique to your dealership. But what we can do is look at what needs to be done and then you can gauge where your dealership is currently at and then you know where to start and with what to start with. DIY or a do-it-yourself process is doing the entire process in-house. This starts with your photos of your inventory along with descriptions, your inventory videos, your value-added proposition videos, your testimonial videos, all the way to video email with regard to lead response. Now, when we talk about professional services, this is where you have a professional service do the work for you. Lot services can do a great job with regard to getting your inventory both photographed, and videoed, and distributed to all your touch points. This also includes video production companies that can produce your value proposition videos along with supplying your dealership with video content for automatic lead responses. Now, what I want to talk about is, is, is the combination. This is where you hire those that only do specific services to tackle the duties you don't have the employer resources while implementing other processes in-house with the assets you already have. An example would be if you already had a lot of service taking photos of your vehicles, it would make sense for them to also shoot full motion video walk-arounds. Once you have this video, you can leverage that in other aspects of your strategy like lead response and video email campaigns. Now I've talked about the strategy and I've talked about the strategy in the past. Uh, presentations. I've even written about it. But let's take a look at the strategy because it's extremely important. Inventory videos. This is where you start. First and foremost, it's where the customers are starting their search. This is where your dealership should start as well with your video marketing strategy. Once you get those in, then it's onto the why buy videos. You've dialed in your processors with your inventory videos. Now it's time to do the why buy videos. These are the videos that are going to sell your dealership, sell your personnel, and ultimately sell your inventory videos. Now, the testimonial video. Why buy videos should be supported with testimonial videos. Videos of happy customers telling their experience and their words which can really connect with your potential shopper. Then you can do some video email. Now you have a library of those videos that showcase your inventory, that tell your dealership story, and you have videos of your customers' great experience. It is the right time to launch your video email process with regard to responding to your customers. Those responses should include all of the previous videos that you now have in your video arsenal. Now, let's look at the dealership size or the personnel pool. Positive, hey, you already have employees, right? Now, the drawback is you already have employees, like Brian said, you're all busy, you've got stuff to do, and laying more processes can um, it would be tough. This doesn't necessarily have to do with how many cars you sell, but more so in how many hats you wear within your dealership, your current employed assets. Now, back to Chad, our sole proprietor, he wears them all, from owner to janitor. Since implementing an automated video platform, he has seen his shopper engagement increase. Now, when I say that the engagement has increased, I mean that he's selling more cars. He understands the power of video and wants to do more from the advertisement of his inventory with full motion walk around videos to video email responses. Now it's just finding the time and the day to do so, to create this process. Many of you in the audience may at first glance feel that you have nothing in common with Chad and his small independent dealership. From my perspective, his dealership is representative of many dealerships today. In fact, that many inter internet departments are tasked with getting it all done, from getting the inventory advertised and online to answering all the leads to closing all the deals, just like Chad. Even so, allow me to introduce two more examples into the mix that may be more representative to your dealership. I got Kia Puyallup in Washington and Woody's Automotive Group out of Missouri. Kia Puella has implemented a fully automatic video process along with employing professional videographers for the creation and implementation of their video marketing strategy. Since their implementation of their video marketing strategy, the most astounding number they have is a 9% increase in sales just from their video marketing strategy. That's the only thing they employed and sales went through the roof. 
Another example is Woody's Automotive Group. They do everything in-house, from their three to five minute spokesman style video walk arounds to their in-house production of why buy and testimonial videos. Aside from their increased sales, Woody's was just awarded Dealer Raiders 2017 Missouri Dealer of the Year Award. So when I asked Sonia Griesbach, Woody's Internet Director, if video had an impact on their customer satisfaction, here was her response. Most definitely. Many customers mention our videos in their written and video testimonials. And they appreciate the extra effort we make, not just in taking great photos, but producing high quality custom video walkarounds. Now, let's take into consideration your employee pool and whether they have the time to do more process. When you think the answer is yes, remember that though adding a process can be quite educational and employees are better for it, where's the time coming from? If it's from playing solitaire or smoke breaks, perfect, get a video camera in their hand. If it is the time they should be following up with customers, you better hire a service. Let's look at uh, dealership volume or units are sold per month. Now, the positive side, you can move a lot of metal. Downside, you're going to move more metal. How you tackle your video, video strategy should take into consideration how many units you are moving per month and how many more units you can handle. This is where a lot service can really be helpful, especially if you are implementing one that is taking photos of your calls or cars already. So just like my example of the Woody's Automotive Group, they have roughly 1,300 units on their lot and everything is done in-house. They have scaled their process as they have grown. Implementing the process in any volume size dealership can be daunting and you may need to look at some assistance to get you jump started. So you have the employee resources to accomplish the rollout, it may be advisable to get assistance from a professional resource to take on the part of catch-up, if you will. Now back to Chad, even with his inventory of 38 cars, finds it getting started a little daunting. Chad knows that it's going to take some practice. Because shooting a video is rather easy and can be quick, but again, it takes some practice. What's your current process? The, ups, the upside, if you have a current process, it's easy to scale. If you don't have a current process, uh, that can, that, that's, that's the bad side. That's the downside. If you have good processes with success currently perfect, keep doing them. Again, depending on whether this is an in-house process or the utilization, utilization of a third party to accomplish, it will be easy to scale from here. Now, Chad, our small independent dealer realizes that though he has manageable way of getting his inventory advertised, he wants to add both full motion walk around video and video email. These are two added processes he is looking to add to his daily process. At first, he was thinking it was going to be uh, quite a bit of time. After reviewing a few things, he realized that the full motion video didn't have to be a big production. It needed to be a smooth and only last 90 to 120 seconds. He's on a platform that allows him to shoot the video and the audio track is already there. That is going to be easy to add to the mix. Now, the video email is something he can do from his phone on the fly, whether he shoots a personalized video or just sends a quick response that has his why buy and testimonials already packed in. He is finding that he is going to be able to respond quicker than when he was with traditional email. Not to mention, he is differentiating himself from his competitors. Actually, no one else in his market is doing video, period. Now the cost of doing business. This is where I'm going to shock you. Uh, if somebody does it, you're going to have great ORR, period. If nobody does it, it's, it's going to be a horrible, horrible mess. I've um, seen a lot of dealerships implement video and uh, nobody does it. And, uh, they, they point to the video and it, it wasn't a success. But Consumers are not only engaging at a higher rate with video, they're searching for it. They're demanding it. It's imperative that dealers implement video. Now, if you think that you're saving money by implementing a do-it-yourself platform versus utilizing a third party, you aren't. When you factor in training, time, and expertise, it's probably a wash. And I would even say that it's more expensive in the long run doing everything in-house. My number one reason for this is turnover. 
dealerships are inherently plagued with personnel turnover. And this comes from the, this, it, it comes with the territory. We can point a lot of fingers at why this is, but for now, in this webinar, we'll accept turnover as the rule, with a few exceptions to the rule. A video marketing strategy should be built around the turnover rule. Dealerships should insulate themselves as much as possible from having their whole implementing implementation come screeching to a halt because the in-house photographer or videographer decided they wanted to become a salesperson, or worse yet, just up and quit and go to work for the competitor. This shouldn't detour a dealership from doing an in-house by any means. It just means that part of the process is that you cross-train your employees. Now that I've made everything as clear as mud for you, let's take a quick look back at our strategy and fill in some conclusions. Inventory videos. It's where your customers start. It's where you start. This is the part of the process where if not insulated against turnover, it can kill a dealership with time and money. Again, if you have an in-house process that is sound and you're happy with it, awesome. Keep doing it and add video to the layer. Just remember to cross-train your staff to overcome the turnover. So I would say when it comes to inventory, this is where a lot of service can really shine for you because they are contracted to deliver great product every time. Now, when it comes to your value proposition videos, these include a why buy and the testimonial videos. These can either be professionally produced, like our Kia Puyallup example, or they can be produced in-house, like Woody's Automotive example. What is most important about these videos is the content. Customers want to see actual dealership personnel and sincere messages. Content. This is what makes these videos so effective. And with video email, there are third-party services that can provide you with some great content to automatically push a, a, a video lead response to your inquiring shoppers. This can be a great first contact with customers that, uh, or customers from stores that have very high amount of leads that are too many to deal with based on your personnel numbers. But what is most effective is a video email coming directly from your dealership personnel. There is no better way to get a customer's engagement than with a personalized message via a video email. Your video email should include an inventory video, a why buy video, and a testimonial video. All of these can come straight out of your video library that you already have regardless of who created them. Now again, whether you do it yourself or you hire a lot of service, who's going to do that? Doing it yourself or having your process in-house works if you have the assets not only to do the job, but can take ownership of the job. And it can be a great rewarding experience when you have your employees all part of the solution. What Chad back with Chad, a little guy over in Nebraska, what he's going to do is he's actually going to keep that process in-house, but he's going to bring somebody else on, somebody that also is going to work with sales the, um, and, and part of the management and the daily chores around the business to kind of help them out. That's, they're, they're also going to wear a few more hats as well. And with that, thank you very much. We'll open it up hey for questions. Hey, everybody. This is, oh, oh, go ahead. I was say, this is, this is Brian with Auto Success uh, back on. Um, Ted, thank you. That was, that was a great presentation. Um, right now, if you have any questions, everybody, please type them into the question uh, bar as we discussed you know, at the beginning. What, what, whatever format that might be and what type of device you're using, please type in your questions now. Um, we, we got a question, a question here. Oh, oops, we, 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 it's a long one. Give me one sec. I've got to open it up bigger. Uh, okay, uh, Stephen, about the slide deck, um, yes, you will be able to get the slide deck or recording uh, afterwards. Just go to Auto Success Webinars on Facebook, that group we discussed, and it'll be posted there. It takes about an hour to, about an hour, uh, to process and upload, but it will be there. Um, let's see, <clears throat> when you're talking about cross-training, which, which exact positions would you cross-train, Ted? Um, I would, I would cross-train the just from... When it, when the vehicle comes out of detail, everybody I've seen I've seen dealerships like crash on the web just because they're they had one photographer that where's the camera, um, where, where's the video camera, or even where's the camera, uh, and, and and then all of a sudden they, they go four or five days with uh, you know this person's gone. It, it it starts with 
your inventory, uh, you know, from that process. Cross train at least some, you know, at least one person. Or well, I know there's quite a few stores. I, you know, we're based out of Iowa, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of dealerships in in our area that that the internet manager takes care of everything. Um, and if something happens to that internet manager, uh, the stores are, are, are kind of underwater until they get a replacement. And that's where I'm saying cross-training, whether that's a porter or um, somebody else, somebody that can pick up the slack on a day off or um, in, in situations of turnover. Okay. Um, what type of video camera do you recommend? Basically, with... Um, and, and I'm going to go back to my what I know and what I work with. Um, basically, what what is going to give you the best resolution? There are um, you, we recommend that you use your phone. Phones have great resolution nowadays. That are that are you know, um, and that's how simple it is. You can take your you know do a video with your phone. Um, yeah, there isn't a specific camera. You can get into some high dollar ones, but uh, um, with like I said, with the phones, um, they're they're you know, they're built for video. That's why they're bigger. Um, so I would recommend using your phone. Okay. Our next question is: How how long should a video be? Should we do a complete walk around with verbal details? Oh, definitely. The uh, the the you know the you know there's there's stats out on the in video marketing stats that uh, people don't engage with something longer than 90 seconds or that don't engage with something longer than two minutes or whatever it is. And I'm, I'm here to say bull hockey on that one. Um, while Woody's down in Chillicothe, Missouri, like I said, they do three to five minute full motion walk around. Some of them are eight minutes long. And you're thinking, my goodness, you go to their YouTube channel, you'll see videos with 24,000 views. You can't tell me that the customers aren't watching those videos. And these are all three to five minute walk arounds. You, um, you can't when with a three to five minute video. If there's no audio to it, yeah, it might get a little, you know, a little, little long. But if you have somebody talking over that, um, you know, taking the video, maybe your lot service takes the video, and then you have a custom voiceover laid over top of that with the salesperson actually doing. The most effective videos are, are the delivery videos, a video that you would do with the delivery of a car, explaining all the features and. Uh, um, just like you would a customer when you deliver that car, those are the most effective on the web because you're you're getting that um, customer that's hit, hitting your VDP. They're getting emotionally charged about that vehicle in that video. All right. Well, it looks it looks like that's all the questions that we have right now. Um, if anybody has any last minute questions, please type them in right now, and I will address them. Uh, but you got to be quick. Um, Ted, I'd like to thank you for coming, and everybody on the call, thank you for taking the time to join us today. If, if you like what you see, come back again. We do these uh, generally on Tuesdays and Thursdays, occasionally on a Wednesday. Um, we not we don't have one this Thursday because I'm actually taking the day off, but uh, generally they're every Tuesday and Thursday. You can see a full list of webinars on our website, autosuccessonline.com slash webinars. You can also go to Auto Success Webinars, the group on Facebook. I know I sound like a broken record as much as I recommend that, but it's a, it's a great place. It's a great place to learn about webinars and continue the learning afterwards. Um, and you know, if, if you if also if you like what you've seen, tell the other people in your dealership. If you feel like this is valuable information and, and you like someone else, you know, let, let them know that you like this and, and they can come to future webinars. And if you would like a recording of this webinar in particular to show somebody in your dealership, uh, you're welcome to send Ted an email. His, his email address is up on the screen. Or you're welcome to send me an email address, or I'm sorry, an email, and you'll all get a thank you email from me. So you all have my, you will all have my email address. It's Brian at AutoSuccessOnline.com. But if you're driving, don't worry about jotting it down because you're going to get a thank you email from me. Um, Ted, is there anything that you would like to uh, share with our audience before we let them go today? Um, I wanted to thank everybody for uh, sitting in on the uh, on the webinar. I'm hoping that. Uh, you know, you got a little spark inside you to, to get video. It's going to be very rewarding for your dealership if you're already doing it. Awesome, um, and hopefully that uh, you can integrate um, something from the from the webinar. Well, great, everybody. Thank you for coming. We hope to see you again at a future Auto Success webinar. Have a wonderful afternoon.